pantry. Super excited. I get to bring you another canning video and uh, this is one of our very favorite jams. And the reason I'm doing all these jam recipes is the window for apricots is right now. You don't get to wait too long. It's usually a two to three week tops window of delicious fresh apricots. So I took advantage. I buy these at Costco three pounds at a time. You could go to your farmer's market. I'm actually gonna hit my farmer's market up on Tuesday and see what they have. But one of our very favorites is pineapple apricot jam. And so that's what I'm making today. Now I've got seven cups of sugar. I know it sounds like a lot of sugar, but this is jam. Okay, two packages of pectin and you mix that right in. You could do it with a whisk, but mix it in with your sugar, okay? What that does is it keeps it from clumping up. The powdered pectin goes in first. You can do this recipe without pectin, but you're relying solely on three pounds of um, apricots because the apricots have the pectin in the skin, but the skin is pretty thin, so gotta be careful. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my fruit in. I've got uh, half a cup of lemon juice. We want that in there. I've got my pineapple. Now this is three cans of pineapple, dole pineapple chunks that I pureed in the food processor. And I only use the juice from one of them. We're gonna cut down a little bit on the liquid. That's less that has to dehydrate and all that good stuff. I got a little bitty uh, fruit stuck to the bottom. So do you want to come in and see this up close and personal, how pretty this is? And I've cut up, I've quartered um, and cut in one inch pieces of apricots. So that's going to go in. So come on in and then guess where we're canning? We're canning again outside because it's too hot. It's going to be 91. I don't have air conditioning. I'm not heating up this kitchen. <laughs> if you like these kind of videos, give me a thumbs up. Let me know what you're canning. Are you canning any seasonal fruit? And you're probably asking, I wonder what she's gonna do with the other three pounds. Well, I've got another jam recipe that is absolutely gonna be delicious. If you wanna see it, come on along, come on in. Okay, so as you can see, I've got my pineapple. It's a little juicy, but because I took out, ooh, there's a seed. Dole, usually I don't get too many pineapple seeds in the Dole products, but see that little speck? That's a pineapple seed. We're gonna get that out of there. Okay, three pounds of apricots. I pit them, I cut them into manageable pieces. They break down in the jamming process. So, ooh, we're gonna go ahead and get this on the stove and look at how pretty this is already. Go ahead and pour your sugar in. And I know it sounds like a lot of sugar, but it's really not. It's a sweet jam for breakfast um, to have on toast. Uh, a bagel, a crisp, uh, you know, a muffin, and you can use these and make the most delicious pineapple apricot muffins you ever put in your mouth. So let's go outside. <laughs> okay, guys, as you can see, I've got everything set up here on the grill again. I've got the jam over here on this burner. I've got my jars in my ball water bath canner, which I will leave a link to that in the description box below. Um, and I've got it on high, so the water temperature is gonna come up. They're, all the jars are full of water. If I don't need them all, I'll set them aside. But um, I've got more than I think I need. This burner is on high till this comes up to a boil. And super simple. In fact, let me turn this up. Um, I'll empty some of the jar water into my flats to, for hot water because you do want to soak your lids in some hot water. They say you don't have to anymore, but I don't, I'm not buying it. <laughs> I still do it. I've got my um, scoop to load my jars, my funnel, and all I need, and my rings here, when I take them out of the canner, they will go in this uh, double foil lined with a towel. Um, so I've got everything I need out here, and it's nice and cool. It's shaded. 
hopefully you can see everything okay. When this comes up to a boil, I'll bring you over here close so you can see. It's gonna boil for a good three minutes and we'll be ready to jar it up. This is super fast because of the pectin. My homemade apricot jam, I never put pectin in. I cook it down until I get a gel state. I do have a little small plate in the freezer to test it and make sure that I've got it. Um, yeah, that's how easy it is. Once I fill my jars, they're gonna go back in here, bring it to a boil. Once that comes up to a boil, I'm gonna time that for 10 minutes. After the 10 minutes is up, we're gonna turn it off and let it sit for another five minutes right there in the canner. And then we'll pull the jars out and show you the liquid gold that's in there. All right, guys, if you love pineapple apricot jam leave me a comment in the comment section and tell me if you make your own or you buy it or how you come about it do you have an apricot tree and do you get apricots this time of year most everybody here anyway it it, it blooms too early and we don't it's very rare that we get them so that's why i buy them all right guys yay jamming it up <laughs> okay so i have my jam it's getting close to coming up to a boil and you want a rolling boil that you cannot stir down like here we're not doing that it's just hot it's just hot lava right now but look how pretty it's going to be it's going to be a beautiful jam for preserves whatever you like well preserves technically do not have pectin so um, i just didn't want to chance it not setting because some of this is going to be gifts so and some is going to be sold and here's my ball water bath cannon. I've got that dialed on can on high because I want these jars to stay sterile and hot for hot lava jam. All right, guys, I'm so excited. I love canning, it's my favorite hobby. Okay, so our jam is actually ready ready to go I just did this was a plate I had in the freezer and as you can see you run your you put a little bit of jam down run your fingers if it doesn't run together and stay separate like that you have jam all right even though I put pectin in here I always like to test it and go one minute maybe longer um, I want to stir down the boil a little bit I've turned it down a little so we're getting ready, our jars are hot. We're gonna jar it up right here. So, mm, it's beautiful. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be so pretty in the jar. I can't wait for you to see it. I'm gonna do, um, loading the jars for you is all gonna be fast forward with music because you know how to load a jar. You're gonna load that jar to a quarter of an inch of headspace, and that means that, um, you give the whoever you're giving the gift to or whenever you open you don't have a chance in the water bath canner for this to overflow out of the jar or a very minimal chance anyways um i'm going to turn this off and get ready to jar it up so quarter of an inch of headspace and in the canner it goes jam out of the canner. I am super excited. Now I've got two foil pans here lined with a tea towel and um, I lined it with a tea towel that Heather from the Needy Homesteader gave me because it's fitting to have beautiful jam sitting on a gift of love. Anyways, thank you Heather. <laughs> Hopefully she watches. Anyways, um, we've been talking about this. Look at, you can see the chunks of um, apricots suspended trust me when I tell you this is so delicious 
It is absolutely wonderful. I love this. Oop, jars are popping. So we got a total of eight 12 ounce jars and three half pint jars, eight ounce jars. So we are set for jam for a while. And some of these are gonna get set over there on the cutting board where I filled the jars. Just until they cool down and I can take them in. And it's breezy out here, but it's not cold, so I'm not worried about anything happening to my jars. Um, here's one of the half pints. I had some, I am officially out of jelly jars. <laughs> I do not have any more. And I will be uh, sharing some of this and some of it will be going to work. Woo! Jars are popping! All right, guys, I hope you can see that. Um, so, I feel really good about this, and I've got another canning session all prepped and ready to go. If you want to see it, it's another jam video, but it is jamming season. And the reason I say that is these fruits, I think I said it before, they're only in season for a short period of time, and I can't get them year round. So, as these jars pop and cool, I'm going to let you go and take a couple pictures. And um, as always, guys, I can't wait to see you next time for another delicious jam recipe and or some recipe where I show you how to use the jam other than on toast. All right. If you'd like to see that, leave me a comment. Bye.